Welcome, welcome to the epilogue of A World Without Magic. Doing kind of a bonus session today. Lots of stuff happened last time, so we just want to kind of do some debriefing all as a group. Now we can stream it, see what everyone else is thinking. Still waiting for players to wake up, but we'll be, we'll be getting started real soon. Good morning. I didn't awake. How are you? Doing well. I've been up for five hours, doing great. It's like lunchtime. For five hours? Yep. Oh dear lord. <laughs> I too have looked into the eye of madness. Looks like Imra and Talai forgot to wake each other up. Well, that complicates things, because I'm pretty sure they're the only ones who can wake each other up. Mm hmm. I have an alarm to do that. Ugh. Amusingly, I think I'm also the one with the least to develop new character-wise. I mean, Cyrix here. Yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> but the lore, Esvel, the lore! I approved a UA thing for one of the players, and now I'm seeing it on their character sheet, and I'm saying, I don't remember anything about this. Uh-oh. Uh I'll stop yawning any moment now. <laughs> any any time now. Uh, let's see. Oh, welcome to the chat, Harry. Man, there's a lot of elves. I saw, I think it was on D&D &D memes, it might have been somewhere else.
Um, yeah, they were talking. I got distracted by the chat. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, someone. I saw somebody with the idea to run like an Aarakocra grave cleric that was actually uh, a different race that was cursed by the Raven Queen for grave robbing and they're afraid of heights. There's a pallid elf. A what? A pallid elf. They're like affiliated Just with very the moon weaver or something? I don't know. Just very, very pale elves. <laughs> yes. Also possibly capable of divine smite. Advantage on investigation and insight. That's nice. So many types of elves. We got in this. Yeah, no one's of war forged yet. We'll get there. So how's Danik doing? How is Danik doing? Uh... Having a grand time, I'm sure, as with the rest of the characters. Everyone's just having a grand old time. Ever since the, the Danik Redeemed dynamic got introduced, there has been unrest in the universe, I think. Mm hmm We'll get it fixed. Mm. <laughs> or not. Doubt. Death is one way to solve problems. <laughs> oh. DM's here. Shh, don't talk about him. What happened? Hide your memes. Sky Chronicler's in chat. Twitch chat. Your chat. My chat. Ah, I see. Oh no, now it's Grimm's chat. So, Sky, now, <clears throat> now's the perfect time to go over my my new character concept for your campaign. Always, always gotta have new characters ready. So it's essentially a oh, our chat, K comrade. 
It's a, essentially going to run Paladin. Possibly thinking Paladin of Vengeance. Not completely sold on it yet. But running it as like a Hexblade. So, like, zero strength because he attacks with Charisma because he's Hexblade now. Maybe a dip into Shadow Sorcerer. Uh, but then basically he he's like a false prince. Either he was a prince and was deposed or disowned by the king, uh, like thought to be not of his true lineage or something, or like born too far, but like a second child or something, like someone that wasn't in the inheritance that's going out and like trying to prove to the king that he's worth it. So like very more bloodthirsty, like much more on the king's page of I want to kill all the people that aren't Sir Valden. That's what I got bouncing around in my head right now. Redeemed would finally have a new friend. Oh no, Miss Dandy's gonna live forever. She ain't ever gonna die. How many times do you think I have to ping Talai before he wakes up? Oh no. There we go, made a little pyramid for him when he shows up. <sighs> I couldn't tell what exactly Zach's message indicated aside from the fact that he didn't realize what time we were starting. Because yeah, I did say 8 a.m. PST, you showed up on time. Well, made sense. Time zones are tricky. Mm hmm. Time zones require maths. Because they're CDT, I think. Or CST, whatever we are right now. One day we'll get rid of daylight savings. Will we? Is that before or after we get rid of empirical measurements? Well, I already did. Cheater. No, we were we were going to, and I think we might have this year, but then COVID happened, and then they just stopped doing anything. I, that seems like a time when it would be easier to make that change. Yeah. But what can you do? Like, I know, because it's like BC, they really want... It's like Washington, Oregon, California, and then BC are all kind of on the same. They want to all do it together Gosh. because it's like there's so much like connected trade through there. They don't want like half of them to suddenly not be on daylight savings and then half of them to be. So hopefully they all get their stuff together. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna da, 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 da. edit two hours. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Coup d'état just to get rid of daylight savings.
We've got to fly on mobile. We've got Pan finishing a sandwich in the next minute. We're doing it. All oh, people joining Roll20? Easy. Everyone's going to be so awake, ready for some deep roleplay. Hello. Hello. You ready for some big roleplay? The biggest. Giganticest. Yes. Talai should be getting on soon. I just went and yelled at him. Yeah. We're waiting for uh, Pan to finish his sandwich anyways. Oh, sweet. I'm not actually positive that it's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. I just assume it's a sandwich, because why would you eat things that aren't in bread? You know, that's fair. Carbs are amazing. They really are. We are all carbs on this blessed day. <laughs> Five minutes. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Well, I don't think Pan seeing a celestial ascend to godhood will have any effect on his psyche, so we can probably just start without him. Yeah, it'll be fine. He seems like he wasn't very affected by the series of events that led to this. Generally stable human being. <laughs> Generally stable, definitely human. Definitely being. Mm-hmm. Oh. This is, I think, the first time that Sirik has seen me in not the form he left me in. Uh, oh yeah, because you're Kalishtar right now, right? Currently, yep. Um. Ooh. Oh, what were they gonna say? Oh yeah, and other starting new campaign soon, and one of them came with a homebrew race, and it's like, it's human! But not really. I say it's all <laughs> more of these. <laughs> and they're always human, but not really. Definitely human. Definitely. Definitely human. No, I love it. It sounded cool. Mm. Definitely a fighter. It's like a, a pseudo Azimar. Pseudo Azimar? Like a fallen angel type of deal here? Uh, kind of. Like they have. Like, they definitely share traits with that. It's, like, Azamar are kind of, like, they, they have their powers because of, like, their twin celestial or whatever. Whereas this race was more, like, related to celestials the same way tieflings are related to demons. Like, they have, like, a celestial Old heritage. Old blood. Got it. There he is. Oh, how's it going, big boy? It's earlier than I wanted to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you could have said no. Everyone kept agreeing. <laughs> I think it's great. I was up already. Ugh. I had to set an alarm, and I didn't watch uh, more than one game of League last night. But uh, otherwise, my life proceeded exactly as normal. Oh mm. yeah, Worlds is still happening, isn't it? Oh, it really is. <laughs> they actually starting now? Yeah. I think I played League one time. I have also played League one time. I would. I, I would advocate for doing it a second time, except it's it's very clearly like a game for a specific subset of people. I have a very hard time convincing myself to convince other people <laughs> to play it. Play Dota. Oh I, yeah, Dota, I love MOBAs. Dota doesn't solve any of the problems that Dota. not playing League does. I mean, it 
it's just such a yeah. learning curve that I can't advocate for it. Unless someone wants that learning curve in their life. I just can't advocate for it because it's toxic. Or at least, I don't know how it is anymore because I haven't played it in four years, obviously, but... I... These days, I would say it's about the same as any other game community, and yeah. there exist tools for muting and the like that make it possible to insulate yourself from that toxicity if you choose to do so proactively. Right. Uh, but but for, for people who, like, don't monitor their own mental health carefully while they're playing video games might not be great. Right. Yeah, I solve it by, like, the only... I cannot remember the last time I played a solo game of Dota. Like, I always play pairs at the very least. Usually. But usually, like, I find, like, full party stacks, and then it's like, oh, yeah, I know all the people I'm playing with. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to get yelled at by strangers. That does solve things. No, not Camel. Now I get yelled at by friends. That's better. <laughs> it's out of love. <laughs> and the fact that I suck. Well, what are you gonna do? Get good. Yeah. Ah, you gotta put way too much time to try and get good at get Dota. Get good? No, now I just play Borderlands and D&D. Easy. Oh yeah, that that's better. Oh yeah, let me know when you want to do more, uh, more Borderlands. Yeah, one day, one day we'll actually play with Zach. He's always busy and tired. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've heard lots of good things about Genshin Impact. It was one of those things like I started getting ads for it, and it's like, oh, like another whatever anime thing. Nope. And then it came out, and everyone's like, "This is the greatest thing I've ever played." And say, like, "Oh, what is this? Yeah, what e what exactly is it?" Because I have also <laughs> been getting more and more intrigued by the ads. Yeah. I do not know. Here, we'll it looks all like learn anime together. Anime Breath of the Wild to me, but an MMO, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't. Free is it? to play action RPG. Um. Is it on here? Chat, tell me about it. It's not like Breath of the Wild. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, someone said it's kind of like Breath of the Wild and Final Fantasy crossed. And then one person said it's not like Breath of the Wild. So who knows? Now they're, now so they're arguing. what I've gotten is we're playing Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, would you website. say, is this a Dark Souls killer? Yes or no? Is this a Dark Souls killer? Holy, their website is crazy. Okay, what do we got? Okay, there we go. Someone Linda paste me a link Google? somewhere. Okay. To okay, whatever chat. whatever nonsense we're looking at. It is very pretty. Okay, you're playing an MMO without MM and a little bit of O. <laughs> <laughs> okay, their, their website is also loud, though. You literally get a either. stamina bar and climbing mechanics are identical. They okay, hired okay. someone from Fire Emblem's art team. Yup. <laughs> no, 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 completely different. Okay. I said that before I saw any of the characters, and I was right. Oh, you were dead nuts on there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need somebody to in chat to tell me what what system it, like. Is it better on mobile? Do I play it on? Can I get it on Steam? You can get it on your PC. It looks like it's standalone. All of the trailers tell me nothing. Fuck mobile. Okay. I figured. <laughs> yeah, I heard it like just will ruin your phone because it's so intensive. Okay, so it is. People hmm. falling from the sky inexplicably. On the Switch soon. Ooh. Of course. I'm Coming soon to Super Smash play. Bros. Yeah. We need more sword characters. <laughs> more anime sword characters. It's on Ooh. PS4, Apple, Android. Yeah. 
in Windows. The site is hey. crazy. I'm loving so it. So the gameplay I've seen so far is this. that when you jump in water, a pop-up says wet. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that end of gameplay. Huh. Okay, I don't like this website anymore. That took way too long. It is really It, it does dirty. take... It, 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 it is oh, loud. Oh, I clicked on Windows and it just... Here, download this executable. I don't know. I don't oh, know Jesus. That. It did the same thing for me. As soon as you said I clicked on Windows, I was like, ooh, I'll click on Windows. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I do a Windows. Yeah. Woo. Okay, yeah, I guess Firefox I'm, I'm, won't even I download the I suddenly page. understand the Breath of the Wild comparisons. Mm -hmm. It's an MMORPG like with a little bit of O. And no MM. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I tried to click that download link and fire. Actually game. single player? No, a little bit of O. Just no MM. I I see. Wait, so, so you mean no download. M and it does have M but not O. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's single player but Wait. co op. <laughs> Wait, I'm running the those installer. Are... Mm. <laughs> how yeah, how does that are you You can't <laughs> be single player and co op. <laughs> Uh, it oh, says travel alone or battle together. Four player, four player cross play. That's nice. Build your dream okay. team. And the, even the installer is pretty. I trust them. Okay, time to um, time to click on this link. I clicked on the link as well. Clicking on the link, we're all getting the same virus. No, we established this isn't Breath of the Wild, guys. It's comparable. What? Okay, it's comparable Nailed to it. Dark Souls. Here we go. In comparison to the multiplayer style. What? <laughs> Liter literal Dark Souls killer. Here we go. Confirmed. Oh, wait. You can invade people? The best. 26 Screw gigabytes. It's not, For not a second, crazy. I thought you said... One of my chat members said, Screw DS. And I thought he meant that this game was on the Nintendo DS. I'm like, that's, <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> That would be Hell sick. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not normally a fan of the YouTube comments, but I'm just going to paste this into our chat. <laughs> this is a Breath of the Wild comment. Developers, you can sit in this game not a on a chair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Didn't even... Yeah. No, you're right. That doesn't even take you to a download page. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it just gives you uh, the link. An yeah, why? Why did you download it? You're not on Windows. <laughs> well, I thought that it might take me to a download page, and I no. could figure something out. But no, uh, uh, oh, no. Oh. looks like you I gotta to play an Android or Nintendo Switch if I want to play it. Alternatively, you could get a VM, like what normal people I'm do, not running or a okay. game on a okay. VM. secondary boot into Windows. Then I'd have to partition my hi my hard drive and everything. No, just just Man, get an external. No. <laughs> wow. I don't want to play this game that bad. <laughs> so what was external. great? You what don't was... have to split hard drive if you just get no hard drive. <laughs> what's great about you saying no is at least on my end you like lagged in Discord like mm -hmm. auto tuned your voice. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> oh, nice. So where's where is Marcus? I thought he was here. Uh, no, he he's... can't join. He's at work or something. Uh, installation. How did that installation take two seconds? So are we all here and still talking about a different game? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, Pan's been oh, here yeah, for like are. ten minutes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? It was very important lore. <laughs> and we just character turned around development. after becoming a god and said, Hey, have you seen this game? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Promo code Mistra. <laughs> I'm turning the whole world it's into my an epic anime store now. Code. You can't stop me. <laughs> You're all anime characters now. Congratulations. Congrats. Always has been. Here, I'll get, I'll, I'll get it for you. Cool. Uh, yeah, here we go. 
There you go. You can choose your new race from there. Oh no. What is this? <laughs> Where is this link gonna take? Nope, oh. I'm good. Nope, I'm good. Oh, I it. saw one image. <laughs> nope, I am. Yeah, that. I am that good. One, that is one to start. Do I need. With. Do yeah. I, should I stop this from loading? It's loading <laughs> still. Um, should I stop it? Guys, no, should I. Guys, at it. <laughs> guys should at I it. stop it? <laughs> How is it still loading? I don't know, but it is, and I think it's a sign I'm exiting out. <laughs> it's a sign. All the same image. Okay. Yeah, I, you should have sent me this before, Vic. All these races are <laughs> very, very good. All of the race names are incomplete, for the record. Are they? Yeah, so the first one's Fairy Lully. The second one is Kappa <laughs> Lully. The third one is uh, Onai Lully. <laughs> that's fair. I'm... I haven't even read any of their stuff, but the sheer amount of features they all get mean busted. So I'm in. You can add your charisma modifier to any spell that you cast that deals damage of this type as a race? <laughs> <laughs> you also gain resistance to this damage type. Don't worry, the next one has disadvantage on saving throws against being charmed. So balanced. <laughs> Crazy. Oh man, Genshin Impact's almost installed. Shall we then? Yeah, yeah. I remember to launch Roll20, so I am in now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I remember that's Roll what 20. we were doing at this god awful time in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's 11.30. Is this what happens when everyone is so sleepy because it's so early in the morning? <laughs> We're too susceptible. <laughs> and also, it's my whole good. day is moved like five hours later because I'm trying to adjust for my radio show. So, <laughs> yes, this is early in the morning for me. Oh, yeah. When is your radio show? What time slot? 1 to 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alright, so last time, so this session, it's gonna, like, pseudo session. Uh, it's I, only canon if someone dies. Only canon if someone dies. Uh, but, no, it's it's all gonna be canon, but, like, we'll do things in character, out of character, just kind of wrapping up the events of last session, because lots of things happened. Uh, obviously, like, there will be lots of questions for Imra's character. Like, Zach's character, but it's not like he knows the answer, so, like, it'll be asking me. Um, so whatever y'all want to talk about with your, between your characters or between your players, I'm just here to kind of facilitate that. Hmm. So can we clarify, because everything was in Celestial... But a lot was oh, what yeah. Emma experienced with his yes. memory coming back. So, from what I think Pan knows from speaking Celestial, is that Imra is Mistra and has ascended to take on that position. Mm -hmm. And this was Mistra's plan all along. I don't know if you would, because wasn't that part like visions I got when I touched the throne? Yeah. Basically, yeah. what you got from yeah, what you got from the celestial was there was Tor deck, I think was his name or something, that you met yeah. outside the temple and was talking about like someone killed Mistra and that destroyed the weave. The only person that can restore the weave is the person that killed Mistra, and you heard Imra like taking responsibility for it, and the celestial not believing. It. It's like you're immortal, like they're, you're just some kid to the celestial. Like you can't do that. You can't just kill a god. But then, like after insistence, took you to the temple, where you met. Oh, I forget this guy's name. Azuth. Azuth. Yeah. Uh, who 
I believe Esvel recognized just from a knowledge of religion, like you had seen images and depictions of them before. Uh, and Imran, like you, recognized as like your friend and the god of arcane magic and the lord of spells, all that jazz. Mm-hmm. Uh, who told you, like, you are the one that is going to restore the weave, yada yada. And then you touched the throne, and then you got all of that just imagery, and you ascended. Didn't Azuth do some sort of big welcome to the new mister or something like that? I think uh, I yes, he did that, say uh, afterwards, and that he probably actually said in common, knowing that there were others there. The god of magic is dead. Long live the god of magic. That was it. That was the phrase. Does Imra look any visibly different to to either magic or normal sight? Uh, to normal sight, yet. Yeah. Like you no longer see Imra standing before you. Like you see a celestial. Uh, being like they are no longer in a mortal form uh, in front of you uh, magically like you as with it's it's very hard to use like your detect magic in Elysium like everything yeah. is just so overwhelming to you but you can tell like Imra is on another level compared to the rest of the magic here Yeah, and if you want, Emma, you can just say, and I tell my friends what I saw, because... Yeah, I was gonna see if I could somehow just, like, hand-wavy give them the visions that I yeah. saw, or at least... You're a god now, version. you can do that. Yeah, I figured I can do that. You give them the gist of it, at least. Oh, and also, <laughs> Sirik showed up, yeah. seemingly appeared out hope. of nowhere, and bowed before you, Imra, and said, hi, long time no see. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Crazy. Eric. <sighs> One sec. Oh. Okay, I'm back. All right. I think, I think Sirik gets a hug, and I'm gonna tell him I'm so sorry. I, you did what you had to, but, and I, I hated you for it so much. But no, now. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, is a bit, like, taken aback at first, but returns your hug and responds. There is nothing to apologize for. I knew what I was getting into. Well, I knew I was getting in over my head, at least. Mm. Well, you did it. You saved us all. Uh, yeah, and you see him prestidigitate just a couple sparks in his hand. Looks like you did a pretty bang-up job this time. Hmm. I don't... It shouldn't break again. I think... I, th I think we've done it. Hopefully that was the last one. I hope so, too. And he turns to look at all of you. I see some new faces in the crowd. Good to have you here. Uh, Esvel, sorry it's been so long. Busy in the celestial realm and all that. Aaron Lee. Yeah. 
What have you been up to? Any new recruits? Does everyone... Does anybody think I still murder people? You still do murder people. No, I don't like... murder people anymore. Oh, that's that's great. That's phenomenal. Make sure everyone knows. We're trying. One second, I got my cat. He's needing in and out. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine there's like a 200 foot long cat just sat next to the temple, just looking at everyone. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I feel like Sirik would have like a Cheshire cat. Yeah. You keep seeing Sirik casting Dimension Door to let a cat in and out. <laughs> oh, if, if Sirik was like destroyed, his smile would be the last thing to go, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, and while, while she's in the process of sort of responding to Sirik, there's a moment where, where Esvel opens her mouth, isn't quite sure what to say for a second, and turns to Imra slash Mistra slash the god, uh, and just says, so about Pandaren? About Pandaren. He's locked away. And she's gonna look to, to lie. I... I'm sure I can do more now, but... I'm not exactly sure what. If nothing else, we could give him a safe home. Oh my god, Shiro. You're not allowed back in anymore. Is this like a beyond mortal concerns kind of thing? Because if so, that's that's totally cool. If that's like the vibe that you're going oh. for, no, like totally just no. we do sort of have a friend who is still stuck yeah, with a god killing no, I, weapon. I have no idea what I can do about that, Vic. <laughs> that's uh, why I was you, going for that. You <laughs> are but... able to recall like the first Pandorum. Mm -hmm. Or not the first Pandorum, but the first time Pandorum like came to be. You are not a part of the war that Pandorum was created for, uh, but you heard the stories of this unstoppable. I don't want to say fiend because that's an actual thing in D and D, uh, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm. And like. You know, the gods were not able to stop them then, and you doubt they could stop them now. Uh, so it's something you can spend time in the future looking towards a solution, but in the meantime, like, there is, like, you gotta keep this shut. Right. Well, I don't. I can't do anything about it yet but I'm happy to work on it and there's always a possibility is there a connection can you can you see anything that's left of him within me uh that's a big question. Yeah, so you can see, like, as a deity and celestial, like, you can see these connections, especially magical connections as the creator of the weave. Like, mm -hmm. you can see where people are pulling on it and drawing power, and you can see uh, Panoptus in front of you. He has this 
<clears throat> kind of a little pocket of magic that you can recognize as Pandorum's, like this pact that he is drawing magic from. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see no like sign, like that kind of possession you would expect. You don't see a direct line from him to Pandorum. It is only this connection to his pact magic. The, the power he gave you is still inside you, but there's no connection anymore between you and him. You are free. The cord has been cut. So these powers are truly just mine, yet his signature lies upon them. Yes. You. Thank you. Yes, to life. You would like to leave the circlet here. I'm happy to work with it. Or I can have whoever I send with you work on it. Uh, Ty is... Ty would just nod and take it out of his pack. So I... I, I take it you're not um not um coming with us no that that makes that makes sense i can't come in this form but i can send another form it'll have all the same memories of the emra you knew the same personality everything that's not weird at all. It'll be me, just in another body. Huh. I suppose doing kind of like a, a quick look around the rest of the party... Just kind of confused that everyone else is rolling with this so much. And then just kind of... Shrugs. My... Will this power truly be safe here? Is there no danger to this realm? This power will be... Safer here than... Anywhere else I know of. Uh, yeah, so Emmer, you know, like, Pandorum's power uh, does not belong to a particular plane. Like, he was not, it's not like, because you are, like, your domain is Elysium. That is where your power is drawn from, like, Elysium itself, sort of. Whereas, like, Pandorum does not have a specific home plane, but he still tends to more of the naturally evil planes, the plane of shadows, all those different things. Uh, so, like, Elysium is very much an opposite of that. So you expect, uh, even if he broke out, which is impossible at this point, like, Elysium would be not a good place for Pandorum to find himself. Mm hmm Yes. He would be... about as concealed, hidden trapped here as he could ever be. I wish somehow I could talk to him. I know that's not possible. You talk about Pandorum? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, at this point, uh, Siric kind of steps forward. He was kind of standing to the like right hand side of Imra beside the throne. Uh, so still like not like walking straight up to you, but kind of bringing attention to himself. Mm. Uh, 
I have found for myself in the past. I've spent some time with the circlet, and while you cannot actually send messages, I I found it did help clear my head when I spoke to it regardless. I was never able to tell if anyone was able to hear, but still made me feel better. Oh, anything I wish to say to Pandorim, I'm sure he's aware now. It's more what he knows and what he's done. His, his works, what, what he achieved in our world is still scars it. People like me, Everett, my home. I would learn all his machinations and I would undo them if I could. Oh yeah, Everett. Uh, can I just like heal Everett? Uh, sure. Divine light. That, but, like, <laughs> you know, I feel like I gotta use the god power for something. Yeah, yeah. Right. Man, that can be your god thing you do this episode. There we go. Do you yeah. do you just like snap your fingers and he's healed? Do you want to like send your avatar to go and like see him personally? Um I'm not entirely sure what you know, I've thought about plane shifting him here. But I think that would just freak him out. Yeah, he would not have a good time with that. <laughs> so I think <sighs> you can also decide later if you want. You yeah, know, I think I'll decide later how Fair it's enough. gonna go. Because I want to send him. I want to just like have him be healed and send him a little message. But I'm not sure what yet. Yeah. I kind of had a mini chat with Ursvel before we left Gilgar about how Everett was doing things. Like, do we know if Everett was basically possessed into doing bad things, or he was that way inclined anyway? Like, roll insight for me. Oh boy. Uh, ooh, that's the wrong character sheet. Uh, where are you? Uh, Esvel, you're also welcome to roll for this. You two are the ones that spent the most time with Everett. Got it. Where is the thing? There's the thing. There's a whip. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so, Pandorum, you didn't actually spend that much time with Everett, but you had a very shared experience despite you having never met before this. Uh, you know, like, Pan, Pandorum couldn't make you do anything. You knew all of the choices you made this far were your own. Despite how disillusioned you might have been, uh, you cannot put the sol blame solely on Pandorum, and you expect the experience was similar for Everett. As well, with the time you spent with him, uh, and... Before, too. Like, this is not the first time you've met Everett. It's not the first time. Like, you would have talked to Will about Everett uh, growing up and stuff. And you know, like, Everett was someone... He was ambitious. Uh, he wanted a lot of things in the world and was willing to hurt people to do it. Uh, if some people got hurt along the way... Like, he, was, he wasn't a killer, but he was willing to pay large prices to get what he wanted. And you expect that's what happened in Gilgar. He... He wanted something enough that he made a bad deal. And it was probably not until very near the end where Pandorum took full possession of him. Got it. 
I would very much like to speak to over it. Shiro, you're not allowed to eat cardboard. Oh, Imra, that reminds me. Something I was thinking about, like, what... Like, you would want to reward the party somehow for, like, being good friends up until now, and I was trying to figure out a good way to do that. So yep. what I decided was you will basically bestow a boon upon them. So, like, whenever they go to a temple of Mistra, kind of very similar to, like, the folk hero background and those types of things, acolyte background is what, like, they go to Temple of Mistra and they will get free food, healing, and lodging. Maybe not like the best of the best, but what, however the temple can help depending on the size. So mm -hmm. I was going to ask you if you have a preference. You can make it just like, oh, they have like a magical aura because magic, I don't know, uh, that the temple would recognize. Or you can do like give them an actual like physical amulet or note or something gift cards a little doctor's note signed mistra hey, god of magic card. <laughs> no i don't uh yeah i think they'd probably ooh that is a tough one uh I feel like they'd probably just know. They'd just have some sort of aura or whatever. Sure. And they'd be traveling with me, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even without trap, like, basically, yeah. this aura will be with them regardless of the party standing. Like, right. Unless they, like, start killing some of your priests or something. Then you might be like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about these guys anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so all of you, including Marcus, uh, you can write it like either in your inventory, you can write it under your features, in your bio, wherever you want to put it, allies and organizations if you want. Basically, if you ever visit a temple of Mistra, you'll, you'll be able to stay there. Let's see if I... Let's find the actual, like... Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, so very similar to, like, rustic hospitality. You can find a place to hide, rest, or recuperate among the mistress temples. Uh, they will shield you from the law or anyone else searching for you, but they will not risk their lives for you. Maybe for you, Imra. And if I can, I would extend that to uh, the mages that helped me get here. Sure, yeah. No, I'll allow that. They, I, I knocked them out. I think they deserve it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so they are not here right now. They stayed outside of the temple. Right. They feel the, the aura. I imagine them furiously scribbling notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're loving this. Okay. Yeah. I, I had one thing I was thinking about, which is, um, how are we going to deal with, like, if the party wants to come back here, and or, like, if they need to, like, will we have a way, or will it be we got to plane, find a way to plane shift again? Uh, they all have to find a way to plane shift again. 
that's so yeah. you will kind of be cut off from Elysium after you leave again. Uh, and it was something, Imra, you will know this. Uh, I mentioned it to Simon over a break. Elysium is not a place for mortals to hang out. Right. Uh, it, it, it'll be a bad time real soon. Like, it's celestials and immortals and all these people, like, they can stay here and it doesn't affect them, but there's this kind of uh, effect uh, called overwhelming joy that essentially the longer they stay here, they have to keep making harder and harder DCs. And by harder and harder, I mean it already starts very hard, where it's they'll become completely overwhelmed with Elysium and... At first, just forget why they ever wanted to go back to their homes and eventually not remember anything before Elysium. Mm -hmm. So, like, this isn't this isn't a good place for a hideout for them or something. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Who has that terribly relevant quiver? Oh, that would be me still. Uh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> We definitely optimized there. Well, I mean, it'll be on new me, too. On new I'm right, right? Is there any advantage on on saving from that, from being sort of celestial-ish? Mm, no. You're not staying here long enough to find out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll whoosh you back before that. Yeah, let's see. Well, enjoy. If I can find it. What's the actual DC on this? It's ridiculous. Whatever. Hopefully, I won't need the actual DC. Don't stay here long enough. But, Mom. <laughs> No. <laughs> I want to go get an apple. Wow, Billy, yeah. your mom let you have two apples from Elysium? <laughs> oh, yeah. If we were so easily able to find one the first time we were here, is is that a thing? You're in a city. Yeah, you're in Duomo oh. Heart now. You're in a different part of Elysium. Damn. Damn Dude, it. Is he an apple salesman? <laughs> uh, no. The barter with her king. Yeah, you see an apple salesman, but they're they're just normal apples. He's like selling these exotic apples from the material plane. You can get some. Yeah, Pan is very overwhelmed and very conflicted. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Emmer, I know you had been working on your avatar. Do you want to actually introduce them now? You know, I was I was kind of thinking about that. Uh, I guess we can go back over it with Will. Uh, mm -hmm. Will is also in my Twitch chat right now. He's watching oh, on the yeah, sidelines. Okay. okay. Uh, well then... He's probably interested in the baboon. Yeah, he can't, yeah. saw all the baboons and he's like, oh, I gotta get in that Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, as I've mentioned, you can't, or I can't, um, in this form, but I can come in another form, back with you to the material plane. Uh, and from somewhere, I'm not sure, I don't know, hmm, no, I don't think he poofs. I think that would be weird. I think he's gonna walk out of some doorway. And we'll see. A... Another elf, but not... not quite the same. Is... Skin is... A different color he's his face looks slightly different 
Um, he's got. Uh, I don't. He's he's in Eldar and and he's got the same a very familiar looking little smirk <laughs> uh, which would probably remind you of another Eldarin that's in this room uh, a Siric but other than that he's in big blue robes with a uh, the same book or a similar looking one on his hip. This is the avatar I've chosen and he'll come with you. Sirik looks over, kind of looking your avatar up once, up and down. Why, hello, handsome. I'm gonna play the biggest prank ever on you, Siric. I'll masquerade as you. Convince people you're a good person. You better not kill anybody. I'm wor I'm working hard on that. Well, that's what this is all about. Reputation management. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, this is good. This, this is a good thing to lie. Siric helped me a lot. That was Corbin, but it's okay. Yeah, Corbin is what I meant. <laughs> Mr. But... just looked through Talai and spoke to his creator. <laughs> <laughs> I am the god of the fourth wall. <laughs> Marcus just said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know who this Siric guy is, but I don't like it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> but yeah. I am a wizard now. He's a wizard. Finally, a wizard. He can cast identify. Oh, I'm loving that intelligence. Oh, you have so many spells. What? Wizards. Wizards. Yeah, I get 20 prepared spells, I think. Why? What? Two per level and I start with six. Why? Why is there so many spells? No, I should have 22 then, shouldn't I? I think I should have more. Should, or, no, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll have to look over it again. See, so you, got, you got the two best level three spells prepped? All oh, you, yeah. All you need. There is literally no other spells required. Anyone want to guess? Another fireball. No. Well, one of them is right. One, one, yeah. Other one, even more powerful than fireball. Way more obnoxious. For Second me. fireball. No, 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 no. You got. You guys all know it for sure. Two of you have Ca it. counter spell strikes me as the yeah. obvious one. Oh, oh yeah, counterspell. fireball counter spell. You don't need <laughs> nothing else. Those are magic I cards. <laughs> I haven't used counter spell in months, I think. Yeah, that's why I still took it because y'all are warlocks. Yeah, that's that's why I shy away from it. It's like mm. if I use that, I'm down to just eldritch blast. Who, oh, that's Vic doing Okay. Yeah, I'm looking through your spells. I was really confused. The ones that aren't in Compendium are not filled in yet. Yeah, the ones with the stars. Yeah, I, yeah see. I only get I only get thirteen prepared. Well, oh, is that all? Or, only yeah. thirteen <laughs> prepared <laughs> spells. Thirteen. Five uh, I can't oh, wait to be goodness, me. wizards, man. Yes. So glad. Yes. It's all he ever wants. How do you have more HP than Imra? I leveled up. Oh, true, true. There we go. 
I'm like, how does a level 8 wizard have less HP? Also, for one of my clerics, cleric levels, I did roll like a 2. Ah, uh, yeah. HP. I know that feeling. Oh, yeah, you did that last <laughs> time. <laughs> but I got a chunky D10 hit dice. Ah, uh, 2. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm just I'm just too spooked by it, honestly. I'm just like, uh I just take average, man. <laughs> yeah, after I uh after I rolled a two I started taking average. Especially with a D six. I'm not I'm not taking that risk. Yeah, so oh. this is your new party member. I'll get to see a lot more of them soon. Cool, cool. He's got a fun subclass. Is it divination? No. School it's not. of all schools. It's, uh... oh, honestly, <laughs> kind of. Oh, it's, it's a, a new one. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it's got a. Oh, what are what are Stuff. alternate UA subclasses? I don't know anything about those. Tell me about that. Alternate UA subclass? Oh, yeah. What's a what's a UA subclass? I've never heard of that. Oh, I, 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 I I don't know. Corbin. So it was a joke, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a barbarian. Yeah. Corbin's <laughs> never been a UA subclass. Uh, question from the crowd: Is his subclass gravity? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. That's official. Okay. No, it's it's more. Why are you so fast? Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm looking through all your stuff. Fast. Specifically, your initiative. Oh. Um. Wait. Why is it? Oh, it's not supposed to be that. It's only supposed to be five. It's the first level two ability. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we'll just put the modifier three. This group's gonna have crazy initiatives. Yeah, I don't. I'm not entirely sure how I can change it, but it's supposed to work on int instead of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. Uh, yeah, I remember looking at that. I don't think there's a way to mm -hmm. fix that or do it automatically without like API and stuff. I think you can do it on the the settings on World Twenty. I don't think so. Like you can do like whether you have advantage, disadvantage, or whatever, but I don't think you can switch which. Um, modifier you use. Yeah, maybe if I had some extension, I don't know, does the better roll 20 let you do that? Not that I'm aware of, but there's a lot of oh. things I don't know about better roll 20. There's initiative modifier mm -hmm. in the attribute options. You can just yeah. stick your... No, that's what we're doing in yeah. there. You can't just you have to set it to a number or whatever without using there's there's so many things you can do if you want like macros and stuff but yeah right forget that I'm sure I could figure it out but this also works and your skills are just so polarizing mm -hmm. like I just look at between like Arcana and athletics I don't think I've ever seen a character with that big of a gap oh yeah yeah that's fair it's a uh... Gap of thirteen. Yep. Easy. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that feat in the compendium, and I was like, "Oh, this is it." This is <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that works really well for you. Right. Yeah. If you have more questions for Mistra deity of magic or for each other or for DM I 
Yeah, I don't. I honestly just don't think Talai is like cares that much, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like so, I don't think this means much to him. So that's why I've been so quiet. I'm also looking at things for a possible backup character. <laughs> Why the, the big one that Esfel has for a new Imra, and this is probably initially Numra. communicated by just sort of doing a, a look back and forth, and then just like a... So are we just... Uh, do we just pretend you're... Uh, What do we call you? Um... You could call me... Imra. I'm not... Are you mm. Imra? I'm more Imra than... Mm, how do I say? More Imra than... The being on that throne it's just that that's not really um saying a lot well not entirely sure what else to uh call myself then if you, I mean are you really S questions. that's a very valid question that no one asked if you have a suggestion, is Talai still like Talai? No. Are we are are we coming up with names? Name me. Random name generator. Here I go. No. <laughs> Random <laughs> dumb names. Elves. <laughs> One hundred and ninety-eight worst names. <laughs> Just call me Siric. Darth no, no. Darth the Doridian. That was the first one that popped up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's Alred, Folas, the Santhir, uh... Alarm with two L's. Alarm with two L's is such a powerful name. No, it does, there's no A, it's just Larm. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lars. Where I all come from? That was the clan. In the character sheet, I'm Imra Prime. <laughs> <laughs> and we call you Prime? Absolutely. Oh, I thought there was gonna yeah. be a knot there, Prime. but <laughs> he's Optimus. <laughs> Has anyone, anyone else seen that? Anyone else seen that D or that YouTube video where the guy creates a like a level ten character, but it's just a level one character in every class? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I've Did played it? with someone who does that. Sounds awful. And his name was absurd, but it was spelled like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. There. Hey everyone, uh, Skeletu is in Twitch chat right now. He's the one that made this map for me, the tally on that. Oh, thank you, Skeletu. It's a pog ass map. It is. And we have graffitied all over it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, it's been a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll, I'll zoom in on the Twitch stream so they can see. We got Home of the Big Boys. Also home of the big boys, apparently. Home of the bigger boys. Uh, border town, regularly fought over politically. We got Tortuga, the pirate island. Uh, we got the high magic city of Gilgar. And Tira is over here. That We'll probably never go back there. It's fine. Yeah, we don't need to. We got this military fort. Uh, we got, uh, Will and Esfeld did a heist. 
Uh, and then we got Cold Deck. They put a big X through it because they don't want to go there because it's too That was scary. like day one. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> it was like the first session I did that. Mm, nope. This is a bad time. Or is it? Big no. And over here we got Air of Rod. I also traced the name. I think that's important. Oh, yeah. You traced the name. Yeah. And, yeah, we'll go up here. So Make sure I see that nice. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I do have another in character question, which is once again. I mean, it's exactly what I just typed in the in the Discord. I just didn't realize that I was going to ask it as a non Mimi question. It just didn't occur to me until we were looking at the map and saw the words High Magic City. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, guys. So you remember how we definitely didn't completely fuck up Gilgar last time. Mm -hmm. are, are we definitely not fucking it up again right now? Oh, it's fine. The portals are gone. That is not what I mean. How are we fucking it up then? Uh, when magic disappeared, it created a political power vacuum, and now we're doing the exact opposite. Oh, uh, yeah, we should deal with that, I suppose. Uh... Hmm. How though? Yeah, there. I I agree with. No, not will. Mark. Yeah. So deal with it after the giants. <laughs> so, Mister, like you can't account for all of the political struggles and changes that might happen from the weave being restored to its proper form uh, in Coruscant and who knows on the other continents uh, that the players have not interacted with in any way. But, like, restoring the weave was, like, the world was going to end if you didn't fix it. Also, the presence of those two warring god factions in the city of Savras and Dolidamara. Yeah. Um. Oh, everyone drink. We gotta hydrate. Oh. Do as I say. Everyone drink. And I got really confused. Everyone take a shot, you know, like we discussed. <laughs> every yeah. every time the party destabilizes the continent. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> in like 10 years, we go back and like marathon an edited <laughs> version of our campaign. Oh, jeez. Every time Will dies, drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually every session. <laughs> uh, Emer so Marcus uh, steps forward a little bit shy, not really getting, like, he has not been with you very long. It doesn't feel like the same kind of connection the rest of the party does. Uh, but is wondering what you can, now that you've, like, ascended, like, you can see what's going on in Largrasis, right? Uh, and so what I want you to do is roll me a d100. Okay. To see, because you're kind of like at this uh, in-between state of ascension at this point. Like it's, yeah, you're sorting through all of this stuff. Okay, what do you got for me? 22. 22. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at Largrasis, Utah. I'm getting very confused. There's no giants here. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, so 22. Uh, it is quite hazy. Uh, what you can... What you can see, Mistra, is you... You're unsure how recent, like, this memory... Like, is it right now? Is it from a month ago? You're unable to tell kind of the timing of this pseudo-memory. Uh, you see the giants walking through Largrasis, and you see a large amount of them uh, kind of walking around that theater that you saw was kind of the, their center operation 
in the town. Uh, and you see the main barbarian standing over a swirling purple portal. Well, the changes in magic have certainly affected them and was affecting them before. The giants are still there, but I can't see much. I'm still learning how to use this power. I'm already struggling to hear you, Imra. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. that better? Yeah, sorry, my yeah. mic was kind of far away from my face. <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh, the giants are still there. The... <laughs> there was... was Wait, okay, was the portal like the Elysium portals? Yes. Okay. They found one of the portals that popped up just like they popped up for me. But that's all I know. So, uh, and you, I will say, you did note the size of the portal uh, was quite large, uh, at least 50 feet in diameter. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Who knows what they're doing now, but <laughs> they're still active, they're still a threat. That portal was big, very big. I don't imagine you know what those portals were, are. Were what? Am I? Thick. The portals were essentially, they were, because the weave was missing and people kept, it was like the celestial said, like magic existed a long, long time before the weave and it didn't blow up the world, but that was because nobody was using it. Mm -hmm. So then Mr. created the weave. So people started using magic, but then the weave broke when Mistra died and people kept trying to draw on the magic, which was causing it to destabilize. Uh, and essentially, these were tears between the magic and the material plane. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like you saw that portal in Elysium, sometimes they got caught up with other planes as well. Kind of this convergence of sorts. They were... Tears in the magic when when you use magic with no weave it breaks it or at least when you use too much but the portals are gone now and they won't show back up So, whatever vision I have, was, or had, was from the past. I... Imbra. Yes. Is this what you wanted? Are you happy? I... I can't say this is something that I always wanted, but it's an outcome I'm happy with. I... 
I never expected it for sure, but this is how it had to be. For what it's worth, no one has shown me more kindness or friendship than you. Hmm. And I cannot think of a better guardian of the, the weave. And I'm I'm happy and I'm proud that for a time I could call you friend. As am I, Pan. As am I. Pan bows, but it's not ironic, it's not mocking, it's it's a genuine bow. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that for me. I may have changed in my form, but we're still friends. It's for my friend that I bow. Thank you. If ever there is a service that whatever it is that I am can can aid, I'm sure you'll find a way of finding me, of finding us again. You need only ask. And for me as well, if you, if any of you need something that I can do, I will help in whatever way I can. You just have to ask. Tumbleweed. Hmm? Tumbleweed. Yes. Tumbleweeds blow through. Well. <laughs> oh, yes, Vic. Absolutely. Ooh, let me let me pick what cantrip. It's gonna be a bad one. What cantrip are you picking? What is this for? Oh, oh you don't guys even worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Koga. I I keep reading it. I don't know what you're talking about. I might have said something like two minutes ago, and then I just forgot. Hmm. Oh, he oh, might be talking yeah, about the yeah, Discord yeah. thing. No, 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 I know what he's talking about. This is better roll 20. Yeah, I'll put a link to it. In the, like, in roll 20 when you're using it, it says, do not post about this script in any of the official channels, because it's technically, like, not good. Uh. But here you mm. go. Here you go, everybody. Everyone, go use better roll twenty. Go to here. Mm. Go to this website. Download better roll twenty if you use <laughs> if you use roll twenty. You know, half of me wants to give everyone thaumaturgy because it would kind of fit, and then half of me wants to give everyone true strike because oh, it'd be funny. Strike. 
the action that fuck that cantrip sucks so much. You have you have the power <laughs> to give everyone one spell <laughs> and you choose True Strike. True Strike is not as contextually awful as people want it to be. But it is. You, you don't, don't even get to attack it. with it. You should. If there's one individual attack that you really, really need to hit, and that's it. Just roll have... twice! Yeah, you can... <laughs> yeah, but if, if you, like, I have the Javelin of Olympus or something, and I have one shot. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it, yeah. but, like, also, no. <laughs> well, no, Pan, Pan really wants true okay. strikes. So Pan okay. can have true strikes. Purely that that might happen one day. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing, it is awful. I think. Oh, wait, is everyone getting the same one, it. or are you picking one for each character? No, I'm just gonna give y'all the same thing. Gotcha. I, I think if you are, like, if you're dropping a ninth level spell on something with an attack roll, I think True Strike makes sense. Yeah. Ugh. I, I think I, think I do Thomas 3D. It's... If you're a sorcerer and you speed it up with meta magic, that is actually pretty cute. That would be. I don't. I don't even know what kind of build you would need. To... Wait, yeah. but it. It still. It says in the spell though on your next turn. Oh my god! It does. <laughs> even if you make it a bonus action with meta magic, it doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty bad. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no, you got, no, you guys... Man. You guys can have Thaumaturgy. Okay. Yeah. All Hopefully of you now hopefully. have Thaumaturgy as a cantrip that you can cast once per day innately. Once per day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. I, I immediately I make my eyes purple here we here we go <laughs> once per day here we go there perfect <laughs> In. <laughs> it's not even a gif it's just the still picture before he says it yeah you know. it's it's but you all know exactly why yeah. i posted it wow. <laughs> I am a Jenner. Oh, I need to watch 300 sometime. That's such a good movie. <laughs> mm. oh. oh, my sides. Drag Thaumaturgy. Enjoy. You can cast Thaumaturgy once. You can change your eye color for a minute. <laughs> for a minute. Thanks. <laughs> and when Mr. Grants us this boon. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> how how does she go about it? What specifically I want to know of is is she aware of how worthless this is? Oh yeah, Mistress is just laughing the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you see, Mistress keeping a real straight face, but you see Prime in the background, like covering their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so sad my new character doesn't have, like, 12 cantrips. <laughs> How many did I... I had so many. I'm up to 8 currently. I just real, my YouTube command says you <laughs> Oops. Oh no, I only had 10, not 12. And now I have... <laughs> How long has it been, like, that big? The whole time, I think. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, chat command, custom commands. Why didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> <laughs> My YouTube. YouTube. I don't know. Maybe it'll get more hits that way. <laughs> I like that you have the hashtag good characters in your stream title. <laughs> oh God! Uh, good characters the best i remember the first time i read it i thought they just like i read it as like oh like these characters are like cool they're like 
made well. Then I realized later that because I saw the evil characters hashtag, and I was like, oh, that makes <laughs> that makes more <laughs> sense. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Is there any? Is there anything else y'all need from me, or is it time to get poofed? Get out of here! I'm sick of you. Be gone. Go on, get. <laughs> oh man, that would have been cool. Uh, I'm gonna send you a picture, Vic, okay. and it would have been so cool for Talai, actually. I'm not easy. remaking his character again, but this would have been cool. Uh, okay, copy. I'm, Let's I'm see. Okay, I'm working on it, okay? Let's, let's see it. Shouldn't have told me so early. I shouldn't have. <laughs> What's this edgy shit? <laughs> 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 I'll just post it in the general. Cause it would have been cool. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. There you go. What is this? Oh, what is this edgy shit? <laughs> it's the edgiest. It's a, it's a warrior that's meant to like bring justice to the gods' actions. Wait, is this a? Oh, never mind. That's not edgy. That's cool as fuck. Thank you. <laughs> it's edgy. Though. Wait, so is this, this picture is edgy, and I think it doesn't oh, do it justice. So much edge. No, it's a guy who just—he's a god slayer, a literal god slayer. <laughs> yeah, you gonna transform into a god slayer while you're in a god uh, temple? Here, I'll get it. With the god there, I gotta, I gotta get three? a link for this one sec. He, he did. Oh, I can, I can give you the weapon. link. It's oh, just a, a it's a, it's a weird ass link. He, he did link. have it's a god weapon. D and D five e homebrew dot tumblr dot com oh, is what beautiful. I found it on. Yeah, yeah. If any of you get the chance, there's yeah. a four comic based around uh, the god butcher, and it's amazing. It's for taking on a guy that's just going around the whole cosmos killing gods. Mm. And it's so metal. Ooh. There's a lot of things in this class. Now that I'm looking at the full thing. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be a... I thought it was a subclass at first, oh, but it's... Yeah. Class, class. It's a class. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. All armor, shield, simple weapon. No tools, trash class. Bye, Mom and Dad. I'm going off on an adventure to kill the gods. Okay, <laughs> Emmy, you be careful now. The end don't for, yeah. don't forget your piplup. <laughs> oh, you still get smites. All right, this is a great. Yeah, game. it's it's it is very similar to Paladin. Oh, random conditions, loving it. Already good, good class. Unholy smite. Twist divinity. Okay, what kind of subclasses do you get? For Let's see, let's look at these subclasses. So Vow of Death, the Vow of Retribution, oh, Anti-Paladin Spell List. At first I was like, oh, it's so short, and then I remember the Paladin Spell List, and it's like, oh yeah. Yeah. Oof. Choose this two looks... of these ten spells, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you get way cooler spells than Paladin. Hellish Rebuke as a Paladin, oh no. Hex as it's a Paladin, oh no. Dis oh no. Insect Plague. Oh, you get animated. It's like a Paladin Warlock almost, by far. Yeah. I want to make like a Paladin Warlock. Make for George. But that would have been, that wouldn't have been kind of cool. That would have been cool. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with how Talia is, but that would have yeah. been cool. So this Tumblr is just stealing stuff from Reddit, apparently. <laughs> this is just where I found it, yeah. so yeah, probably. I'm just looking for balanced, cool homebrew classes to possibly do for a secondary character. Oh, yeah. Anti. Yeah, not sure how well an anti-paladin would mesh with the party. 
I think it'd go fine. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be. It could. It. <laughs> it, would, it would. It, would, it would probably. It would be more specific than. He wants to. Kill all gods God. are. He wants to. All gods are God. bastards. You know, it's yeah. not do that. I, do we any of us a god on the party? Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't tell. Him. Do any of us have non-squishy moral stances left? Huh. I think Talai has pretty much lost his moral stances. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're squishy. I, I just don't think they're there. Esfel definitely lost most of hers when she de decided to... To, to yeah. die? A little uh, bit, yeah. Uh, probably probably gained would. his. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we just haven't Prime. gotten to see much of it yet. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, this class is cool. Yeah, no. Prime will have morals still about specific things and then just probably not about other things. Yeah. I'm just gonna just gonna post a link of this other homebrew class I'm looking at right now. Level eight AC twelve wizard man. <laughs> Where's the mage armor? I don't see mage Who armor. Needs it? <laughs> Who oh no needs it? I'm thinking about possibly maybe working on this class a little bit for you, my second character, so I don't level, want to post all of it. Feet of devil <laughs> no. Yeah, what the, what yeah I know. No. That's like that's what I'm looking at. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, that's why I said work on this class a little bit because it's definitely. Oh, you I mean, can't. I have that from level one. But it was an option. Is mm. take yeah, that. You'll and never say. be able to level two, rather. Oh yeah. Is anyone else's audio super choppy? Nope. No. No. I'm, I'm doing alright. I can hear bits of popping and things. That's about it. Better. Did Discord have a seizure? Uh, Maybe just for you. Yup. Okay. Amara, have you ever used the bracelet of rock magic? I think no, you used I it haven't. I don't think I have. We're going to I... come back, and Mistress is going to be a statue. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Prime, has it. Prime has all of Ember's old stuff. Chad is saying Yoka Hava, the person that made this on. Uh, Reddit actually has a f quite a few interesting homebrew stuff. Wait, what? Uh, Yoko sure. Ahava, the person that did the anti-paladin class you saw? Oh, yeah. I have know. seen them. Yeah, the, the Unearthed Arcana subreddit has a pretty good list of, like, curated things that are mm -hmm. not actually too unbalanced. Yeah. <laughs> this weapon mm. scores a crit on a 7 or 20. Oh man, love it. Oh, I remember the Koi, bro. That thing's so cool. Koi, bro. But yeah, anything, any other questions for the God of Magic? Does Mr. Play Genshin Impact? Of course. <laughs> Maybe not. they have lots of time. Just now. as soon as you guys yeah. get out of my chamber. <laughs> how many how many consciousnesses can a god have? Uh more than two. Yeah. I think it's depending on what level of deity they are. Mistra mm -hmm. yeah. is a What level is Mistra? <laughs> Greater deity <laughs> according to second edition. I'm on the official Mistra page on Wikipedia. So that'll definitely be <laughs> originally called Mistral. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, other than that, basically, Imra Mistra, you'll be able to dump party or individuals one time wherever they want on the continent. Mm-hmm.
So if you want, if they want to go back to like the, like they teleported from the boat, if they want to go back there, you can send them. If there's a specific. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, where would you like to go? Oh yeah, uh, Chad is asking oh, cool. God of Magic, uh, what level of magic uh, do you need to create sentience? Which I think is animate object is maybe the lowest one. Does that create sentience? That's how you define sentient. Animate object seems sentient. <coughs> well, what's a warforged? Yeah. Yeah, what level spells? An animated work? object has intelligence and wisdom three. So yeah, that seems sentient to me. Maybe not sapient, yeah. but sentient. They're not conscious, but they are alive, I guess. What is my purpose? You pass the butter. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's an amazing episode of Rick and Mortar. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why yeah, did I, I dump my intelligence? I don't understand the show anymore. <laughs> you gotta have a very high IQ. My to be high. fair. To be fair. Oh dear God. <laughs> I, I, love, I love Rick and Morty. I think it's amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, I find found it really funny when everyone freaked out about the source oh, and that no. everyone's got this huge backlash against it. I find that funny as well. It was rough. Uh, so yeah, in terms of where you want to get dropped, especially since Will isn't here, you don't have to where decide. Where we dropping right now. boys? Where we dropping boys? Anywhere on Talia? So if you want to discuss, if you want to be dropped like outside of Largrasa, so you can just get her done, or if you want to go somewhere else, up to party. We could also we could be dropped <laughs> underneath Largrasa. Yeah. Because wasn't could be there tunnels? Dropped like a thousand feet in the air above Lagrasis. And, and then, then drop the onto element... Lagrasis. Oh yeah, we would have the element of surprise. Somebody has Featherfall <laughs> prepped, right? No. Find <laughs> us. New Imra does. Yup. Hey, Pretty sure who... Marcus has the opposite of Featherfall. As someone who made a successful gravity-based attack before by falling from a ceiling, it's definitely a good idea. fair yeah half damage from falling easy marcus will live forever <laughs> mark you guys do nothing but confuse me it'll be all right marcus well, well yeah he did kind of come in at the end <laughs> Will just shouldn't have died. Yeah. Easy. Wouldn't have been a problem. <laughs> Which time? Yes. <laughs> oh, check this race out, Vic. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have said it so fast, but there you go. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love his top hat. <laughs> And that's all. I don't even. I didn't read anything. I just saw this picture and said, "I'm done." Yeah, in approved. <laughs> I might. I might do that for my bon for my backup. So I won't post okay. it in the. Maybe very much. Has Have you played weakness. Divinity Original Sin? Like I know, uh, Scott's played a lot of it. I played a little bit of it, but I. No, I specifically to well, lie, because he's the one that sent me oh, this. Yeah. I have not, no. Okay. I have not played Divinity Original Well, it's a big thing. If you walk into a city like that, they're going to kill you. Gotcha. Well, I mean, yeah. Or at Wait, least attempt is this, to. Is uh, this an undead? Basically. Yeah. Wait, but if it's wearing a top hat, it should be covered. Oh, yeah. Totally fine. Stealth 100. <laughs> Disguise. <laughs> uh, in, in Divinity, that is how it works. If you have a cap on, it counts as covering your face. Uh, yeah. 
But yeah, no. So if you did that, like just a lot of like RP, what like you would have to. Take oh yeah. Steps to oh yeah. Hide it. I I get that. No, uh, in new campaign, there's one guy. He wants to be. Uh, there's a dragon knight class homebrew he found, which surprisingly I, balanced for having a dragon as your partner. I did see that. Well, you don't get to be a dragon until like 18th level. Yeah, you just kind of get like little parts of it. No, no, no. This is like you have a partner dragon, like you and a dragon are bonded and fight. Oh together. no, shit! That's cool. Mm -hmm. Are we talking like dragon heart? Like if the dragon dies, you die. Uh, not until much later. Oh. Like, at this point, it's just, there is a dragon, and there is you. Uh, bonded for, like, it might be a magical bond, it might be you t got the egg and raised it, whatever. Lots of lore reasons you can make, but surprisingly balanced. But that same thing, it's like, you can't just walk into town with a dragon. <laughs> you are going to have to take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, <laughs> I, I did literally do that to Everett. Just walk him through town. Totally fine. Just leave a dragon there. No problem. I, I did. My pseudo dragon is with him. Yeah, no, he's loving it. I told you. <laughs> he's having a great day. Uh, yeah. Other so than... where do we want to get dropped? Uh. Uh. Mm. I feel like Gilgar, but yeah, and Amber, like you, Prime is going a lot, so you're welcome. Like, yeah, you can say where you want to go. I think more like Grasses than Gilgar, but it probably really doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, not necessarily in Lark Grasses, but like outside mm -hmm. of it. And we could use that cave that we ended up in last time. Right. The cave where the giant was hiding? The the one where we fought the Onai? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure there's yeah. no one there. Yeah. I'm sure they just left that cave empty. Pick uh, some other uh, dick that doesn't have a map prepared for a fight. <laughs> that is that is actually the reason I chose it. Not because I want a fight, but because if there's gonna be a fight, why make why make Vic go get get another map? That just seems mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you get teleported above Lord Grasses and you're in a bus and you've got some parachutes mm -hmm. on. Yeah, you have one minute to decide before it goes out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have lost all your weapons and items, only cosmetics are left. <laughs> But there's a bunch of stuff just sitting on the ground places. Yeah, you see plus two longsword on the ground. Easy. <laughs> Be nice, Esvel. Oh my goodness. He's at work. He doesn't need this kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling it. <laughs> He's not like an air flight coordinator or anything, is he? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> that 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 works as an answer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll well, somewhere around La Grasses. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, yeah oh, we can do that. We'll do that on Sunday then. Continue kind yeah. of the session. I I don't think it's necessarily we have to unless you have more stuff prepared for tonight for today oh, I don't for today think it's really... no it was just supposed yeah. to be short wrapping this up so if there's 
anything right. else for talking to Mistra or in Elysium or Cyric or with each other. So the decision is outside Lograsus then? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To lie. Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> he's po what? he's shit posting and, and wants to say <laughs> something nice. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Get off the internet, to lie. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? What's you hear on? my voice in your mind that just just says he was a good man in the end. Uh, well, I th I don't think till I responds to that. You just see Pan smile at you and then turn towards Mistra. Yeah, pretty stone faced. It was two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. <laughs> I wasn't shit posting. That was a serious post, Vic. <laughs> He's shit posting. No. <laughs> I'm just kind of gathering, like, cool ideas for characters at the moment, so. Yeah, anything else people want to talk about, like, in session for anything? Uh, no, I think I'm, I'm good. I figured it out. Alright, sounds good. Uh, I will just sign off for stream then. Alright, stream, thank you so much for showing up. It was just a little, little, little baby stream today, little baby stream just wrapping up. Lots of weird things have been happening to the players and characters, so we will be back on Sunday to continue, or actually to start, a new arc. Obviously, A World Without Magic is done, because magic is back. They did it. But until then, I will talk to you all later. I love you all so much. Bye!